Hi, I'm Kunal. I'm a staff interaction designer at Google. I work on the material design team at Google. Uh, material design is a public open source design system that uh, many companies around the world use to create high quality apps for Android, the web, and other platforms. I've played a number of roles on the team. So I started out kind of working on our core design guidelines and system, helping uh, define and provide guidance for the components that people use every day to uh, design and build high quality apps. Right now, I lead design for our public website, uh, material.io, which is where you can find all the information and resources about our design system that you need to get started. A critique session is basically just you presenting your work to peers for feedback. So think about like when you uh, go shopping and you want to show off an outfit to friends, you know, if you're considering buying it or not, and they may have some feedback for you like, nah, that doesn't really look that good, or oh yeah, that looks really good on you. It's just that same kind of idea, but with your design work instead. You know, you're just presenting it, explaining what you like about it, what you don't like about it, what you might have questions on, and then getting feedback from your peers about what they think, what is or isn't working. Critiques are important because they give you a chance to really improve upon the work. It's easy to get lost in the specific assignment you've been given and maybe lose focus on what goals you're trying to reach and maybe how your work fits into a broader journey, whether you're working on a feature that's part of a larger product or you're not considering what the rest of a user's day or task might look like. Other people coming in can help bring that fresh perspective to you and make sure you're not getting too stuck in the details of your own work. In a critique session, there's not really a distinction between being entry level or senior. You know, at some point, everyone is going to have work that they want to put in front of their peers for feedback. So you're going to be expected to play the same roles as a uh, presenter or as a reviewer and um, just be thoughtful about how you're presenting and how you're giving feedback. As a presenter, one of the hardest things to do in a critique is keep people focused on the specific things you want feedback on. Oftentimes, people will want to start reviewing other parts of the designs, other parts of the product. It's easy for discussions to kind of go off the rails. So as much as possible, I try to keep the discussion focused on the task at hand. When I'm a reviewer, before I give someone feedback, I always want to make sure I have a way to connect it to some broader point. I want to provide the right framing for my feedback. So I always want to make sure that I'm not leaving someone with just my subjective opinion, but even if I have a subjective opinion, I'm attaching it to something that they can find useful to anchor to. When you're talking about what makes the work better, part of what you're doing is also talking about what can make you better as a designer. You know, you can learn from the types of feedback you're receiving about things to maybe improve upon in the future, things you can start looking for on your own. So all those details that came up in a critique session, I internalized and thought about how to apply to my own process. Crits have been a big part of how I've grown as a designer. Congratulations on finishing this course from the Google UX Design Certificate. You can access the full experience, including job search help, and start to earn your certificate by clicking on the icon or the link in the description below. Watch the next video in the course by clicking here, and subscribe to our channel for more from upcoming Google career certificates.